Gabriel visits Mary and tells her that she is to be the mother of the Messiah. God sends the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a young woman engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The woman's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found some favor with God. You will conceive a child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am not yet married. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who was said to be barren, is in her sixth month, so nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. We will now see you over the time of the
dealing with the Christmas. Christmas is not about driving in your car to get Christmas food. It's about driving in a dumb piece of paper. Christmas is not about the angels sitting on top of the tree. But the angels who told me that he was a baby boy. Christmas is not about the same thing as they do. It's about the tickets and the feet. Christmas is not about the rich and the important, but more of the up the land. Christmas is not about decorating, it's about the story, the God is reaching to Jesus. Christmas is not about the components, it's about giving. So let us remember the three meaning of Christmas. The stable, the manger, and the baby king. The birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree and census to be taken of the entire Roman world, which everyone went to their time to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the dead, to Bethlehem, the town of David. Because he belonged to the house and realm of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. 
while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first son, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him on a manger, because there was no death in the early children in the womb. We will now do another quiet battle. It is not of the regular brain day. Okay. It is not of the regular brain day. The brain day. It is not of the regular brain day. I think that guys, and I'm going to do what I'm doing, but there's even more to come and some options to this as well. Okay. I think that. You know, faster and faster and faster and distant, promise and music and honor and different. But do you recall the most famous Rainbow Hotel?
the happy here with us. And this is all such an amazing and joyful start to the Christmas season. And I absolutely love Christmas. I love everything to do with Christmas. I love singing the Christmas songs. I love singing the Christmas carols. I like to eat lots of food at Christmas time and uh, have the gifts that we've said already. Oh, and me too. I love them. Yeah, okay. Well done for your Christmas crackers. Have you ever noticed they look a bit like sweet? Now, they were invented by a man called Tom Smith. He used to make sweet. But he did it for the very well. And in fact, he wasn't doing very well at all. And one day, he was sitting by his fire, a cold fire, and the fire went on. And he thought, I'm going to make a sweet that goes down. And then he thought, I'm going to add a message in it and put a good thing. And then he realized that he can't make a sweet that's tiny, so he decided to make the sweet bigger. And that was the invention of the Christmas cracker 170 years ago. And last year, 160 million crackers were bought just in the United Kingdom alone. So if Tom Smith is still alive, that would have been a success. Now, the thing about crackers is it's no problem to stay right now. What do you have to do to them? You have to pull it on you. So who am I going to pull this with? You're good idea, mate. You're all good. Brilliant idea. Now, Tony, you and I are going to pull this cracker together. So, uh, we've got to have a countdown, I think. Ready? Three, two, one. Three. Uh, right. I did that. I did that. I'll let them have it after. You can have the clip. So, this is all the bang. There was a bit of a bang, wasn't there? And that reminds me that Christmas, the first Christmas, was all about the surprise. An angel comes to see me and says, You're going to have a baby. That was a bit of a surprise to Mary. But we're going to do something dark at night, looking after their feet, and all of a sudden, there's a whole cloud of angels in the sky. That's what it's like, isn't it? That's actually going to be an incredible surprise. So Christmas is full of surprises. But of course, the one thing that didn't surprise us is the fact that God sent his son Jesus and he said he was going to. The surprise was that he was a baby born in a stable in the middle of nowhere. So what else do we get in five steps? Let's have a look. I think you didn't say she should wear the hat. I think you should wear the hat. I found you. He said to me, he said, like a twin, didn't he? With his, with his crown on. And of course, the Christian story has got three things. We heard it. Story, the three things we heard in that wonderful reading that we had earlier. The three things who don't visit Jesus. There is also another thing in the story, who is a bit of a bad thing, not from Herod. Because I didn't like the idea of a baby thing being born, which is what Jesus was, and then it's going to change. So the couple reminds me of that part of the Christmas story, not just of the couple and Mary, but of the wise men as well, with the kings that they're sometimes called. But now we've got a gift for a story. Not quite sure what this is, that's the case. Yeah, I don't think so. I have no idea what it is, but what it is, we'll find out. It looks like quite nice. It's uh, not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that 
the lady that they need to a new focus. Sometimes it gets too hard for us to do, so I know. I always have an answer here. You can always find me a jumper, and the jumper was always two times too small. So that wasn't very useful. But the cook took a part of Christmas. But when God sent Jesus, it was the cook that we needed money. We needed to know that God loved us, and the best way for God to show his love was to send someone and sell us. And that's what we did when Jesus was born. Well, don't you get in a cluster? There must be someone else in the cluster. I'm sorry, just have a little look in there. There's a, ah, there's a piece of paper here. Well, there are a lot of messages on here. There's a, there's a, there's a joke. I'm not sure I get it really. What do you get if you take the cow boy with the messages? Then he's a squid. Then he's a squid. I just can't remember. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So it's made a flower, and a flower at the back of the ocean. Look at them, they have a wonderful time at the back of the ocean. So it's made a snow, and it's back today. It's always a wonderful flower to give them. And if you are listening carefully to our reading, you will have a great deal about joy. When the angel comes to Mary, she says, I bring you four tidings of joy. Joy! When the angel visits the shepherds, they say to them, We bring you four tidings of joy. Joy! So the shepherd reminds me of the joy of Christmas as well. Is there anything else in there, James? Is it just an upside down? No, that looks. That looks. It's very deep, deep. There's nothing else in there. Okay, so what do we do with what is this story I'm going to do? So it's just a oh, week back here that we can. I'll put that back in my open there. But there's the thing that's really important when we celebrate Christmas. Whilst we throw away the paper, we don't throw away the message that Jesus has been born to show us how much he loves us, and that is a call of grace. So thank you for listening, Jason. Enjoy your gift. And the time looks great on you. And I wish you all a really happy Christmas. Thank you, Ben. So now we can thank you, Mark, for the tournament. Oh, sorry, I'm good. Forgive me. So what prayer today really based around the word Jesus, taking each letter of his name and using a word that begins with that letter. So let's pray, Lord, we thank you that this is a time of joy. Thank you for this service for the joy, fun, and laughter as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And may those watching today be filled with joy. Amen. Well, the next is the letter E. I'm going to show you, if you want to just stand here and get the And the E stands for everyone. Lord, we thank you when Jesus was born, the angel said, we bring you good news for all people, everyone. Help us to have the one we need and the gift of peace. And help us to look after people who feel less than Right, what's the next question? Is it J E S? Yes, 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 these two are going to a healthy, or ill, or struggling with Christmas. 
they may know your presence. And I'm going to say, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you and you are going to say thanks to the word, I'm right. I'm right. So, Lord, thank you that at Christmas we can give and receive thanks. Help us to be generous in what we give and be thankful for what we're given. And thank you for the gift of this temple, the Lord Jesus Christ. Right, the last letter. So thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our Savior, the one who saved us from our sins. Thank you, you came to sort out the mess in our lives and the mess in our world and put things to us. May we trust you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for being here. We've heard a lot about the, uh, the word of joy. We've uh, heard the word of joy. The word of joy is to be here. It's great to be together. Last, uh, it's a really good thing. 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 God works in serious ways, and that's quite brilliant. We're actually going out to a much wider audience, which actually is a great idea because you're going to be shared space for it, it's going to be on the YouTube item, and you'll be seen by hundreds of more people than you would have suspected to be. So I think that's such a good one, that's good news. It's been a fun for you, but there's been a lot of good things that come out of this world. We mustn't forget that. I think we do. I want to make sure we start with me. We pull together so well in the same time as a team. And what it is to do is I think it's absolutely amazing. And I really, really want to make sure that it's a strong word about that. I think it's very unseen. And we pull it together in the same time. It's like the always pull together. It's been very, very special. I think I also want to my admiration for the never ceasing positivity of the people who are here. And we just stand to learn a thing or two from the way they do it. Always positive, always positive, and making this change. We've had a lot of support from friends and family members, as well as great support from many organisations, individuals, and corporate partners, who have helped us over the last two years. Too many to mention today. I want to forget to mention that on Tuesday, uh, 6 o'clock, is the draw for the countdown, which is going to be done at uh, the Western Empire, who uh, are the ones I've called it, the Bullies. Obviously, thank you, that's a good place for them. But once again, I think it's going to be terrible. So, you're all out of time to see it. So, thank you all. Thank you all. But many thanks. To uh, Reverend Mike Earl and uh, and James Porter for helping us around so there's always lovely people to hear and always a lot of noble way to speak. I thank the guys and Marie and our team that bounced out for all the work they've done for helping us and getting us and getting the great thing. Thank you so much. We really have so much time to do. What would we do with that? It's never any time in business. And I've been helping us long. I think I'm right to say it's a 50 years. So we can start to be a very great thing. Thank you so much for everything you do. But for many other people, 
That's why we need to stand in the end of the plan. And we'll wait for the four and a half hours and check in and go ahead to come here today and I'll be in the way of the world and keep me in the time to check out for the day and I'll have to go ahead and 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 go ahead Thank you. 